I'm with WorldWarSupply.com and today I'm going to show you how to completely disassemble a Japanese Arasaka Type 38. This is R38 here. Chris Anthem's intact, Type 38 markings. Uh, this rifle will be for sale in the future. First thing is with any weapon you're going to want to make sure it's unloaded. Ours is unloaded. Pull the bolt all the way to the back. This lever here and the bolt will come free. We have complete bolt disassembly instructions uh, already posted, so we're going to not do that in this video. I'll set it on the side. If you're not that familiar with weapons or if you're unsure or if it's going to be well, if you're going to let it soak in some uh, oil or something for a while, I highly suggest you take video with a video camera or your phone. Or at the minimum, if you're unsure, take pictures. It's always going to be good for, for how to get it back together. At the worst, you delete it. I always like to start right here. I go in a particular order and I put the screws in one of those metal bowls that I don't have out here for the video, but I put them in a metal magnetic metal bowl like you put car parts in. In fact, you can buy it from any Napa or anything, and that's typically what I do to keep things so they don't get lost, but we have them right here on our toe, but on my workbench I keep them in that. Now you can take this off or not, just two wood screws. I had it off before, uh, had it soaking, and the same with the butt plate. Butt plate just comes off with one screw on the end, but we're not going to do that. And what that'll reveal is typically your Japanese didn't have a lot of good quality wood around. So this is two pieces of wood and it's dovetailed this whole piece and you'll see the dovetail on the end if you take it apart. And we turn it over. Take this screw out here. Sometimes they need a little persuasion and, and a way to accomplish that also is you can Take your screwdriver and put it in there and then you can take a uh, pair of channel locks and you can grab the screwdriver and help turn it. Sometimes it helps to have another person to do that but it's always an option if things are a little bit stuck. Hold it down in there good and then take a pair of pliers or something to actually turn the, turn the uh, screwdriver to get things out. See our bottom piece dropping free now. Uh, it just comes out. You can clean all up in here. Typically these usually haven't been out in years. And you had your tang fall off here. That, uh, we'll show you how that goes on later. And our screw is just kind of hanging there. You would just push that out and that drops out there. Now up front here, you're going to press this in here and your cleaning rod will come free. So you just press right here. Now on here, here's a little trick. This will not come free unless this is pressed down. You can pound on it all you want, but it will not come free unless this is pressed down. On the 99s is different, there's a screw on each side, but this one's different. And what you can do too is you can get a little clamp and you can press that in if it's really sticky as you're working this off. And I'm going to grab a little hammer to give it some persuasion that I should have grabbed earlier while you're looking at the video there. Now, I always recommend you get more of a brass tipped hammer. I just don't have one. I've not invested in one yet, even though I'm telling you to do so. So do as I say, not as I do. And you give this just a little bit of a pound. And it's going to come off just like that. Now, if you'll see how it's shaped, it won't come off this way. If you turn it, it'll line up and come right out. Now, you've got to remove the front barrel band. And you do so by pressing this down, and then you've got to work your way up. And the lost rifle is going to be pretty tight. And you just got to go back and forth. And sometimes what I do is I get my punch out. I like these brass punches. See how you're not moving here. Just work it in there and then pull it here and just keep working it back and forth till you get it up. Take that off. Now you can open up your sights. This piece will just come off. Now your whole action should be ready to come out. That'll come out. And you have your top piece here also. Now you're completely disassembled. I say if you want to go further you can take uh, your rear uh, sling swivel off and your butt plate off but not necessary to do so on this rifle. Just simple screws. We won't waste your time showing you how to do that. So there you are completely disassembled. I would not disassemble the trigger any further. Here you can disassemble this if you wish. Uh, there's two screws here. Both of these screws come out and this piece can come out here if you feel you need to clean in there. But usually if you just open it up like this, you can pretty much see everything, and you can take some um, um, cleaner and squirt in there, whether you got some hops or birchwood case here, whatever, and you can clean that pretty good without disassembling it. Again, if you take it apart, just take video so you know how to get it back together. Here we are, completely disassembled, Japanese Arasaka Type 38.